Hey guys, welcome to AAA Farms. James here. Just wanted to kind of show you what the wife got done. We got something we got to fix in preparation to brush hog this weekend. And we're probably going to be doing a little bit of dirt work as well. Let me show you what she got done. Alright guys, y'all can see what she got done here. So she knocked out this ale. Uh, there's some brush piles in here that we got to clean up, which this is not going to happen now because the entire state of Louisiana is on a burn ban. But this, that there, and that there, and that there are all burn piles, or they used to be. They probably rot it to the point that the dirt now. But whenever we get rain, we'll go through, and we're not in a burn ban anymore. We'll cut all that stuff down, fall it over, burn it, and then we'll probably spread all that out to kind of improve the soil and go from there. But y'all can tell she got this L done. It looks really good. Also on the other side of the uh, chicken coop over there, she got that little section done. She also got all this done out here with the exception of y'all can see some of that back over there. And I'll show y'all why she did not get that done. But on top of that, so she did some laps around here. There's just some stuff left here. Probably about an hour's worth. On the other side of those trees right there, we got probably about a half acre, maybe a third of acre land. She brush hogged all that down and it looks really clean. As y'all can tell, this whole area just looks way better than it did. It was all taller brush. I imagine y'all saw that when we started the other day. And... This gives y'all a little bit better view of that area. So that's the driveway. Uh, not these closest trees, but the trees up top there is the property line basically. Uh, so she got all this done here and she just has that area right there left to do. Got some more burn piles down there that we need to cut and burn. And then also this little section over here, she got it knocked down. Y'all can kind of see already right there and then on the other side of the tractor and all this down here she's got it cleaned up pretty good uh there is one area over here she did not get and it's mainly just because it it's a brush hog killer basically it's a this amount of dirt which uh it's right there you can kind of see that taller stuff right there so uh plan on doing some dirt work this weekend uh, hoping to do some brush hogging. The wife is actually off tomorrow and depending on how she feels it'd be nice if she could knock that out so I can be done with it. And then uh, I'll probably go finish the cow pasture and then right on the side, other side of these trees there's a couple of acres that I want to knock out. And then on the other side of the valley here it goes down and comes up on the other side of this tree line. We got probably about three acres or so over there. It'd be nice to knock all that out. But we'll see. We definitely got some dirt to move around that we need to do oh and good good thing that we didn't get a whole lot but we did get rain y'all can kind of see where it's wet on the tractor right there so it's pretty awesome i know i'm getting excited over a drizzle but for you who do not know we haven't had rain in three months and it's just nice to see water so ain't a whole lot but we'll take what we can get and let's talk about why the wife did not finish brush hogging what she she could and that would be because of this so got a flat tire no big deal if you own any form of equipment that goes off-road you're gonna get flats it's just it's just what it is so I got a plug kit I just kind of threw it on the ground to get it out of the way so I could free up my hand but she said it was this right here that was leaking uh, see y'all kind of see right there uh, I also noticed there's a stick right here in the tire So I'm gonna go pull the air compressor out. We'll blow the tire up and we'll see exactly where all it's leaking uh, She said that whenever she got out of the tractor she could put her finger over this and it'd stop hissing So I suspect that's definitely leaking But we're gonna put some air in this tire blow it up verify and we'll go ahead and uh, plug it not a big deal like i said if you own it if you own a farm you're gonna get a flat it's just part of it sticks sticks go through tires no big deal let me go get the uh brush hog and we'll go from there not the brush hog y'all I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead it's thursday i'm ready to be brush hogging this weekend let me go get the air compressor and we'll uh, air this thing up and go from there all right we got our air compressor moved over here 
Let's throw some air in this tire and hopefully it inflates. Yeah, so that's worried about it. Popped off the rim. Let me uh, get the tractor cranked up and we'll hopefully be able to pick it up and go from there. Definitely worse like it. Okay. See if we can plug it. Take our little ring tool. Have to be good enough. We want to coat this area with our little binding. Okay, and we want to push straight in. And then pull straight out. There we go. I don't hear hissing anywhere else, but I mean, really wouldn't surprise me if we got a leak somewhere else too. You know, it's just it's part of the business, y'all. Especially the stuff where we're brush hogging. Uh, those little little, especially the small trees. The larger trees ain't as bad. Uh, like one inch diameter or two inch diameter stuff like that it's the little bitty ones that are like a quarter inch and basically what you got to do is when you're brush hogging that stuff if you if you're traveling like this way over it every time you drive over it that's the way you want to go because what it does is it'll the brush hog will cut it down the length right and then as you drag the back over it it'll actually lean it over that way so those sticks will sit there like that so long as you're driving this way over it, it just pushes it back down. Not a not a big deal. But as soon as you come back this way, 
I know y'all have seen the movies of people stabbing spears in the ground and the bear falls on the spear. It does the exact same thing. So that's probably what happened here. And I suspect this this a stick right here. Or I'm pretty sure that's a stick. It ain't leaking. I'm pretty sure that one's been in there for a while too, because I, I think I recall seeing it before she did everything. Uh but I definitely suspect uh that one ain't leaking. So we'll we'll definitely see. We'll leave it aired up uh and see if it's flat in the morning and kind of go from there. Like I said, I'm hoping it holds because maybe she can do some brush hogging tomorrow. It's very cloudy today. Uh, let me show you all that. It's very cloudy today. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it would not be upset whatsoever if it rained. Because I'm just so, so ecstatic about this little drizzle that we got. Uh, I know that doesn't seem like much and that might seem kind of crazy to some, but it's just nice to know that it actually rained for once. We've been dealing with forest fire after forest fire around this area. And uh, they had a really big one about an hour and a half south of us. And they had another really big one probably about an hour east of us. And it just, it, it's nerve wracking. Those are far away. But we did have one that was like four miles that way. Uh, I showed that to y'all in the video when my wife started brush hogging this and the Massey Ferguson knocked out some really thick stuff over here. So, uh, other than that, tractor looks good. Wife says she really enjoyed it, which is awesome. Uh, she She's like a little addicted to cutting the lawn and stuff and having like a really clean lawn. She loves mowing grass. So, the way her schedule is, she's off more in the week than I am. So, she's just sitting at home. Uh, typically, I would say with nothing to do, but she's normally cleaning the house something or, or working on some little project for hers. But it'd be really cool if I can turn her loose and let her brush hog, especially this stuff up here and over there. Because all this is going to be hay field. And my game plan is this coming summer. Uh, I want to get a three bottom plow before then. And I'm just going to plow all this out and disc it, drag it smooth, and turn it into a hay field. So it's going to be a lot of work to do that. But. I'm very stressed right now for the fact that we got, we're down to 32 hay bales. So we got 30 of the brand new Bahia Bermuda mix. And then there's two old Bahia bales there from last year. Y'all can see back there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Y'all can see the cows there eating the hay now uh, in the cow pasture. So it, it's, it's rough because we're having to feed hay and we've been having to feed hay. I got 11 cows. Roll of thumb is three hay bales per cow, and I got 32. So we don't have enough to make it through winter, much less to winter and then through winter. So we'll have to see. I'm hoping to find some for sale locally. Uh, right now, the closest place that's reasonably priced is about two hours away, and that's a that's a really long way. The guy I bought these off of here uh, suspects he'll get another cutting this year my uh my local guy who is like five minutes from here i don't suspect he's gonna cut in you know, get enough for me or enough extra to sell me any just because he has more cows than i do and he doesn't have enough or last time i spoke to him he didn't have enough for himself so uh, it's just part of the business but if i can get this into a hay field that should be the one cutting off of this field barring that you know the field's good it's thick tall lush and all that good stuff one cutting should be enough for me to have hay with the cow herd I got now. And I'm hoping to work out a deal with my local hay guy that, you know, second, third cutting. Basically, he'll cut cut everything, build everything free for me, and then whatever I don't need, which would probably be second, third cutting, uh, he, he can sell for a profit for him and go from there. So, we'll see. All right, guys, that's it for today. So... Plan is to brush hog and do some dirt work this weekend. Basically, the plan was this spot over here that I brush hog with the Massey Ferguson 245. That's kind of like a, a low spot, and it's typically too wet for me to br the, the brush hog through that area. And it's super rough. I imagine y'all could tell in the video. So the plan is to fill that up with some, a little dirt hill I have over here and a big dirt hill that's over here. It's super long. However, 
with any luck that's going to get spoiled uh, so it sprinkled here earlier today i know i've been making a big deal about that but if y'all look out here super dark the wind's blowing towards me from that direction uh, the wife just got off work and she works in the south down here and she said it is flooding in town to the point that uh she was kind of concerned about her car she has a little black toyota highlander anyway she uh there's a low spot she had to drive through to come home and the water got to the top of her hood so hopefully her car's fine but more importantly we have rain coming and uh i know that might seem silly to y'all but i'm super excited about it so uh with the rain coming i got to get off here i got to get this compressor put up and i want to make sure we don't have anything out it's gonna be extremely disappointing if it don't rain but if y'all look all behind me like it's it's all back here and the wind's blowing this way so it should bring that straight to us so i'm gonna get this compressor put up i really appreciate y'all visiting me on the farm today uh look to this weekend for some videos uh, if it's dry enough we'll do some brush hogging we'll do some dirt work if it's not i got stuff to fix the power stroke and i got stuff to fix my uh sister-in-law brother-in-law's girlfriend whatever family members uh oil leak on her car so both of those got to get done this weekend no matter what the plan is to do some brush hog and some dirt work this weekend so keep an eye out on those videos pray for us to get some rain and really appreciate y'all coming out like and subscribe if you like videos that i'm putting out other than that y'all have a wonderful day i'm gonna get all this put up and hopefully it starts raining very quick all right guys it's the next morning uh as y'all can tell we did not get any rain from that rain system yesterday it actually ended up going that way the wind was blowing this way storm went that way so awesome i'm gonna check this plug real quick and then i gotta hit the work so plug's still there tire still has air in it it does look like it could use some air so might blow it up some more when i get home but for right now she says a brush hog that should be plenty enough concerning part is i don't know how well it's coming across the camera but there's a lot of smoke and the area smells very smoky there was another big forest fire last night that way but that one was pretty far away um going by road probably about like an hour and 20 straight shot probably i don't know 30 miles so uh i don't know I, I don't know if it's that but it, it, it makes you it makes you nervous wife will be here all day kids are going to school i gotta go to work so hopefully uh ends up being nothing but we'll see we gotta go to work we got teased by the rain yesterday it happens as we get closer to the fall we'll, we'll get more and more rain so hopefully we can get some we we'll actually have some mildew on the ground for the first time in forever so that's pretty nice too but we'll go from there y'all have a good one keep an eye out on the videos from this weekend which will be a brush hog and dirt work and then working on the 40 edge and the power stroke so y'all have a good one see y'all then subscribe and like if you like this kind of content or if you think i'm doing a good job otherwise y'all have a good day folks we just made it home uh we still have air in the tire our plug seems to be holding we do need to put more air in the tire which i'll probably do that in the morning uh because on the bright side y'all can see there's dark clouds back here and i just got back from work <laughs> so we got a bunch of dark clouds rain clouds and all that good stuff and the wife called me or texted me about 4 15 it was pouring down it poured down for about an hour it's sprinkling on and off now there's more clouds coming in but that if y'all look down there in the road we actually got water puddles in the road so that's awesome so i already checked for what i was wanting to do over here where we brushed off with the massey ferguson the other day and uh it's still dry or i mean it's kind of it's kind of damp but unless we get a lot more rain today we should still be able to fill that up with dirt i believe and we should be able to finish brush hogging we'll kind of play that by ear and see what it looks like in the morning and go from there but i just wanted to share we did finally actually get some rain it's awesome we're super excited about it 
Uh, you can actually already see stuff back here starting to green up again. Where that wet spot was over here when I walked in there, everything in it's starting to green up again. It's very nice to uh, finally get some rain. We definitely needed it. And so uh, definitely happy about it. But I'm going to let y'all go finally on this video. I know it's kind of been up and down with the excitement of rain and all that. But we did get rain. It's super awesome. We're super excited. Hopefully it kind of cuts out all the fires because we did get quite a bit. Like I said, it was, it was an hour worth of pouring down rain. Hopefully we got some more coming in because that would be even better. But if y'all like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all for visiting me on the farm. Y'all have a wonderful one.